Alright, today I'm going to be showing you my homemade sieve shaker that I've built several weeks ago. And pretty much how this thing works is I have an electric motor here that I got from a bread machine. Uh, you can find one at a thrift store or the dump. Pretty cheap or free. I had mine just lying around that was broken, so I pulled this out of it. Uh, how it works is it uses this counterweight, which I cast from a some scrap lead I had lying around. Then I took a hole saw and cut a nice piece out so it would be disbalanced. And it works pretty much the same way like a Xbox controller does to make the vibrations. Just uh, beefed up and scaled up. Uh, it uses 110 volts DC. So pretty much all I have here is a bridge rectifier. But this is not the original one that came with this motor. I just had this one lying around. I don't know what I did with the original one. I added a switch, so it would be nice and easy to flip it on and off. So, to the construction, I have 3 8 threaded rod here, which then I have a half inch thick piece of plywood sitting on uh, these nuts, which are screwed against each other real tight with uh, lots of Loctite to keep them in place. And here I have oversized holes so this thing can move around and when it vibrates to give it nice back and forth motion to help the sieve, sieving process I guess here at the top have another piece of half inch thick plywood with wing nuts that uh, clamp everything down tight keep it in place while, it, while the machine's running and uh, these sieves I got off of eBay several years ago but I was never able to use them since I didn't have a sieve shaking machine or sieve shaker and uh, when I bought these they didn't come with a cup or the lid so I machined the lid and the cup at a local machine shop which I used to work at uh, the boss is pretty nice so he still lets me come around and uh, work on my own stuff thank you thanks to him I got those made anyway I guess I'll show you how this thing runs. So I got the top off just so I can show you what this looks like. This is the lid that I made. It's got a little lip that sits in there. It's pretty nice. And I use uh, marbles in some of these sieves to help the powder move along a little better. Here I have my batch of magnalium that I made. And this has pretty much just been run through a coarse sieve after the ball mill to uh, get all the large chunks out. So we're going to take a couple of scoops and uh, load them in here. Should be good for now, just for demonstration. Usually I'd load it up all the way to the top. But, alright, put the lid on. board and tighten everything down real tight make sure it's not going to go anywhere all right everything seems to be good just double check by tugging on that I'm going to flip it off Alright, I'm going to cut it off and let's see if anything made it through to the bottom. Uh, these, I'm going to just loosen up and we can pull this out. Let's open it up and see what we got. As you can see, most of the really coarse stuff is uh, still left at the top, which is a uh, 150 microns and then as we move down it's finer and finer and my smallest mesh size is 53 microns 
so this one at the bottom here uh, so everything in it is above 53 and everything that falls through is below or 53 or smaller which you can see there's not much of but I've, I've found that, that this is a good enough mesh size to make flash powder with or and the coarser stuff is good for other pyrotechnic compositions mixing those with some potassium chlorate gives you a really nice loud bang I usually don't make any more than one gram because uh, I think it's pretty dangerous anyway there you have it just an idea for a sieve shaker if anyone is looking for how to make one or if you have uh, any suggestion or, or comments please post them and thank you